Hello everybody, it's me, BurgerCuber17, and today we're going to be doing another Math League contest paper. We're going to be doing year 2012 to 2013, questions 26 to 35, and if these are all questions are going to be grade 6, or 6th grade. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so the first question. If Marlon the ma Mailman has sunny weather on exactly 12 of 30 days last month, on what percent of days was the weather not, not, not sunny? So, not sunny, and they said 12 was sunny. So, what we could do, so 30 minus 12 is 18. And then, because we want to find percentage, we do 18 divided by 30, which is 6.6. 6. So, if we change it to percentages, that would be C, 60 percentage. The next question is, last month I spent $24 on magnets that cost 80 cents each. And this month I spent $24 on magnets that cost $1.20 each. The average cost per magnet was. So, what we can do this is since $24 divided by 80 cents is 30, and 24 divided by $1.20 is 20, and then because it's 50 magnets in total and it was used of $48. So if we did 48 divided by 50, we would get 96 cents, which would be B. The next question is, on a number line, blank is the same distance from 1.75 as it is from 7.25. So the average, so what we have to do is the average of 1.75 and 7.25. So we add them both up and we divide it by 2 and we would get We would get D 4.5. The next question is 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 4 times 4 to the power of 5 times 6 to the power of 7 times 9 to the power of 10 equals. So, because every question has the base number of 2 and 3, we have to simplify all of these numbers to 2s and 3s. So, if we simplified it, we would get. 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 10 times then in parentheses 2 to the power of 7 times 3 to the power of 7 and then end parentheses times 3 to the power of 20. That would be the whole the equivalent of the equation right there but with the base numbers only of 2 and 3. Now if we add up all those powers we would get 2 to the power of We would get 2 to the power of 20, and, and then we would get times 3 to the power of 31. So our answer would be B. The next question is, in a garage, the ratio of red cars to black cars is 8.5, and the ratio of black cars to white cars is 3.4. The minimum number of, number of cars in a garage is... So, for this question, we just have to expand the ratio so they have the same, around the same numbers. Like, so we can change 8 to 5 to 24 to 15, and we can change 3 to 4 to 15 and 20. And now we just have to add up 24, 15, and 20, and we'll get 59. So our answer would be B, 59. Next question. The sum of six consecutive integers, the largest of which is 30, is equal to the sum of 10 consecutive integers, the largest which is, and then blank. So, what we can do for this question is, because the, because as in six consecutive integers, which is, which the largest is 30, we can do 25 plus 26 plus 27 plus 28 plus 29 plus 30. 
And since 165 is the answer, if you add those all up, and 165 divided by 10 is 16.5, the middle numbers are 16 and 17. So we have to do the sum of 12 plus 13, and then so on, all the way to plus 16 plus 17, and all the way to plus 20 plus 21. So we have to go from 12 plus 13, we have to keep on going in order, all the way to plus 21. And because the greatest number is 21, our answer would be C. The next question is, I write a list of consecutive positive integers beginning with 1. Then I remove all multiples of 4, and I had 2,345 integers left. What was the largest integer on my list after the numbers were removed? So, for this question, so for every number, every three numbers left, one multiple of four was removed, and because since 2,345 divided by three is 781 with a remainder of two, there are 781 multiples of four that were removed. And since the remainder was two, the last number in the list was four times 781 plus two. So our answer would be A. The next question is, if the radius for people whose area is 36, 36 pi centimeters squared equals the width of a rectangle and its diameter of the, diameter of the circle is half the length of the rectangle, the perimeter of the rectangle is. So, a radius of a circle with an area of 36 pi centimeters squared is 6 centimeters. So the width of a rectangle is 6 centimeters, and the diameter of the circle is 12 centimeters. So the length of the rectangle is 24 centimeters, because it said that the diameter was half the length of a rectangle, so it would be 24. So the perimeter of the rectangle is 2 times 6 plus 24, which would get you, so 6 plus 24 is 30, and then 30 times 2 is 60. So the answer would be a 60 centimeters. The next question is, at the start of my temporary job, I need to I need to load an average of 120 boxes a day in order to finish my job on time. At first, I loaded 90 boxes a day. Then I then had 6 days left to load the remaining 1200 boxes. How many days did I have in all for th this temporary job. So each day he, it would have he would have loaded ninety boxes instead of one hundred twenty. So it would be thirty boxes short. And if it was on a set schedule, we would need to load seven hundred twenty boxes in the last six days. So he would have to load four hundred eighty extra boxes boxes and since 480 divided by 30 is 16 he would we have to do 16 plus 6 which is 22 so our answer would be 22 days to finish his temporary job so our answer would be c the last sec the last question each day last week i counted 50 percent more leaves than I had counted the day before. If I counted 2,430 leaves last Friday, how many had I counted this Sunday before that Friday? So we have to work backwards on this. So, so you would have counted two thirds the number of leaves on each previous day. So Sunday, it, he would have counted two thirds to the power of 5 times 2,430, which is 320 leaves. So our answer is D, 
320.